Today, we're gonna to be talking about the browser made for you, not for your data. This browser has been receiving a lot of hype, although it's still an alpha version. Zen Browser, a fork project from Mozilla Firefox that is trying to emphasize on privacy customization and a modern user experience, all on their main website here. We're gonna start exploring this in a moment, and we're gonna go and see if it's easy to install this on Linux. But before we do, let's just talk about the project just a little bit. Here is Zen Browser. It says we're gonna experience tranquility while browsing the web without people tracking you. Zen is a privacy focused browser that blocks trackers, ads, and other unwanted content while offering the best browsing experience. We'll put that to the test, but it is interesting how many people are talking about Zen Browser. And one of the wonderful things about Zen is that they are built on top of Firefox's already robust foundation. And this gives it a slight edge over other open source browsers because they can easily patch any security vulnerabilities that are found in their browser simply by taking on the dev and fixes from the Mozilla Firefox branch. Anyways, let's start the install process now. All right, here on my Linux system, I'm just gonna run through and download Zen for Linux now. I'm gonna choose the optimized version and then hit continue. And we got the portable app image and flat pack. And I'm just gonna go with the portable version and a zip file. Once it's done, I have the zip file. I'm gonna extract it by double clicking on it, giving it a few moments here. And it's pretty funny that I ended up using Firefox as my download source for Zen browser since it's forked from it. All right, we got a Zen folder here now. I'm gonna extract it somewhere. Let's just put it on the desktop for now and hit extract. And I'm gonna hit show the files once it's extracted. And now I have Zen here. So I'm gonna try and run the binary and see what happens. And look at that, I'm running Zen browser now. All right, very cool. Zen browser has launched the alpha version here. It looks pretty wonderful actually. It says it's fast, beautiful, and private. Well, let's just check it out. I'm gonna hit next. And I can now select a theme for myself, pick the perfect color Well, orange is used across the channel. And I'm gonna go with the dark mode theme instead of the regular theme here. Next, import data. There's nothing I wanna import. So I'm gonna hit next and choose a search engine, eBay as a search engine. That's a little weird. DuckDuckGo will be my choice. There's also Wikipedia, which, okay, that's interesting that they call that a search engine, but they got Google as well. And looks like that's the first choice. Interestingly enough, I wonder if Google is paying to be the first choice. I don't know. I would assume so. Anyways, thanks so much. Appreciation means the world to us. I'm going to hit next and start using the browser. Now, what you'll notice that's immediately different and unusual, perhaps to you, is that tabs are on the left-hand side. It is set to the default workspace right now, and it has two things opened up, the privacy policy by Zen and the welcome to the Zen browser. It's still in development, as it says. It has multiple bugs, so can't necessarily use it, but if you close out all tabs, it's gonna create a new tab and get you to the search engine that you have selected. So it says Zen here, and I can search for things like Zen Browser, but look how it fakes us out and throws us up to the top for the URL bar. That remains about the same. You can see the little key here for telling us whether or not something is secured or not. We still have access to stopping, going back, and going forwards here as well. We're now accessing the GitHub page for the browser itself. Overall, it is pretty snappy. It works very well. I would say that the install process isn't the best quite yet. I couldn't walk through it with the GUI portion. I did try that as well in the background, but using the extraction method, that worked fine. We have ways to favorite things like a bookmark. If I wanted to save this, it's gonna to save to bookmarks. It doesn't show up up top by default, but it does show up here where you'll find a menu that looks very much like what Firefox used to look like. The design here does look a little better in my opinion, we can also minimize, maximize, exit up top, and finally add extensions if we want as well. It's gonna remind you a bit of Firefox, much of the styling, maybe some of the text, some of the locations of things is gonna look a little similar, but overall, they've done a good job of removing those things. As you can tell, if I hit themes, I get extensions to themes at addonsmozilla.org. So definitely some remnants of Firefox still left over. Regardless, the new design over here is quite interesting. There's also a sidebar, which is a different way to browse the web. And if I click one of the icons down at the bottom, this little sidebar allows you to look at multiple pages, although I'm not sure how it quite works. At least it's a little confusing to me. Not sure what it's trying to do here. A little confusing if you ask me. But to the left of that, we do have the option of minimizing and maximizing the tab view, which I really like because it gets you more space. So how wonderful is that? All you see is the icon over here and I can go between the things. Here's a different settings tab, which looks a little different, but what I wanted to show you specifically is the Zen mods. You can install mods from the store 
If we visit a store, this is a great thing. You can search the mods. There are plenty actually already created with multiple pages, but you can see things like allow toolbar theming, astro theme dark, audio tab, better letterboxing, better tab indicators, all community driven, which is quite exciting as well. I do like the customizability here and the community driven development as this open source project seems to have a lot of potential. Will it actually compete with some of the other big browsers? Well, maybe with Firefox. I don't see it being any kind of a replacement for Chromium. Maybe a little bit of a niche for people who like a different type of layout for their browser. It does look more modern. I do like the open source foundation here with its strong focus on security and privacy features as we see in browsers like Brave. That's always a great thing to get out of your browser as we know in today's world. Collecting and selling data is the absolute number one resource that everyone's trying to get a hold of. I'd also love to see the performance optimizations that they end up making it, tailoring these browsers for more specific architectures and systems. We'll see how well they do with that. Hopefully they keep focusing on the user experience. But I do understand a bit of the hype here for Zen. Am I gonna be switching over to it? Probably not. I've been using Brave for quite a while and I do like the way it operates. I'm just used to it. Nothing against Zen here. Definitely worth a shot if you wanna try something new. Although I would wait until it's an official release stage and not an alpha, unless you're ready to test things out and be a guinea pig here. This project has legs and I can see why people are checking it out quite frequently. Again, these Zen mods are really cool. I've been trying them out as well. This is post recording, but some of the theming is great, like this pastel color theme and a cleaned up URL bar. Definitely check these out if you're on Zen. And it's kind of funny because they already have improvements to ecosystems like an elementary OS. There's clearly a bug where the default title bar layout is not being followed. And there's a mod for that. What are your thoughts on Zen browser? Is it just a fad? I'd love to hear it. But there is one last thing I want to review on Zen. Zen browser docs, they have performance benchmarks. Last made October 15th, 2024. This is on a Windows 11 Intel Core i5 13th gen processor. And it gives us a disclaimer that this is only focused on very specific aspects of the browser that performance results may vary. Anyways, this is just the performance over time and they're showing that they're getting better and better as the performance goes up. You could perhaps take some of these metrics and compare them to other browsers. But anyways, we can see with respect to time here, we are trending better, although it's been pretty stagnant the last few releases, especially after the 0.37 release. Points will hopefully keep going up and it's a steady increase again, performance over time. This time using the Jetstream performance benchmark, Motion Mark has been pretty much holding steady, but hasn't made much improvement since 0.37 again. Looks like they did quite a bit of improvement over the 0.34 to 0.37. So after looking at these, it didn't mean much. I was hoping to see side-by-side -side comparisons against other browsers, but that's okay. It's still not in a release, so that's probably not fair anyway. All right, that's it on Zen Browser. Let me know if you're gonna use it in the comment section below. I'd love to know if you're going to try it or if you've already tried it. Let us know whether features you love on it. Just thought I would talk about this one a little bit. I've been seeing it show up more and more, so figured I'd give it a try and kind of show you the experience here to get it installed. If you like these types of videos, make sure to smash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.